यू नो दैट इन ए थर्मल पावर प्लांट बॉयलर विल कंज्यूम 400 केजी कोल पर आवर टू प्रोड्यूस दी वन मेगावॉट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इट मींस दैट इफ यू वांट टू प्रोड्यूस 1000 मेगावॉट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इट विल कंज्यूम अप्रोक्सीमेटली 9000 टन्स पर डे वन टन इक्वल टू 1000 केजी सो दिस बॉयलर इट विल कंज्यूम दिस ह्यूज अमाउंट ऑफ coal then it will produce the electricity do you know how does it works so hi this is vijay and i hope you are doing well in this video lecture i will give you the brief idea about the working principle of thermal power plant so here you can see that it is the layout of the modern thermal power plant okay thermal power plant it is a coal based power plant okay in which we are using coal as a fuel okay and it will work on rank and cycle we have already discussed in my previous lecture in a rank and cycle it consists of basic four component boiler turbine condenser and pump so thermal power plant it consists of basically four circuit the first circuit is coal and air circuit the second one is air and gas circuit third one is feed water and steam flow circuit and the fourth one is cooling water circuit so any thermal power plant it consists of basically four circuit so i will give you brief idea about all the circuits so first of all in coal and air circuit it includes the flow of coal from the mines to the coal yard then it is supplied to the boiler or furnace so in this circuit okay we will discuss the various components we are using for handling for in plant as well as out plant handling of the coal from the mines to the coal yard and coal yard to the furnace so the first one is wagon tripler here you can see that it is a giant machine okay uh, here you can see that this wagon okay it is clamped okay by using uh, hydraulic clamping so here you can see that okay one by one okay this wagon it is clamped then after it is uh, rotated by using a uh, motor so here you can see that the large size spur gear okay it is connected with the small gear and this small gear shaft it is connected with the motor shaft so this motor it will rotate this gear okay so uh, due to the movement so due to the rotation of the small gear so large gear is also rotated and this large size gear it is connected with the wagon so your wagon is tilt your wagon is rotated and it is emptied in the uh, coal yard so here you can see that the loading and unloading of the wagon by using this mechanism okay and uh, this mechanism uh, it will transfer the coal okay from the train to the coal yard okay in a few minutes of time the second one is bucket elevator it will transfer the huge quantity of coal through the coal storage to the belt conveyor so in a thermal power plant we are using this giant machines okay to transfer the coal so after the completion of combustion in the boiler whatever the uh, waste is s our byproduct is s okay it is used in a uh, cement plant we can transfer it okay this uh, whatever the s it is collected in the hopper then after it is supplied to the s yard by using s handling equipment so in a boiler whatever the steam it is produced it is a wet steam or dry steam we cannot directly supply this dry steam to the turbine because we know that whenever there is a moisture content in the steam at that time it will erode and corrode the turbine blades okay so this steam it will pass through the superheater so in a superheater so this component it is located in the higher temperature range so it will remove the total moisture which is available in the steam and it will be converted into superheated steam and this superheated steam it is expand into the turbine so turbine means it is an output device or it is also called expander okay and its function is to produce the output and whatever the electricity it will be generated in the generator okay it is supplied to the domestic as well as industrial use so in a boiler whenever the combustion will be take place we have already discussed combustion means it is a chemical process yes and the for the combustion we require the oxygen and fuel oxygen we can supply through the air 
okay so uh, we will discuss the flow of air and gas in the air and gas circuit okay this flue gases okay whatever the flue gases it is uh, generated in the boiler okay it is passed through the superheater here it will transfer the heat okay in the superheater and it will generate the superheated steam then after it will pass through the economizer and finally this flue gases it will pass through the air preheater and being exhausted to the atmosphere to the chimney okay because we know that okay in a exhaust gases okay few amount of energy is also available whenever this exhaust gases is directly uh, exhausted into the atmosphere it is a wastage of thermal energy instead of that it will pass through the heat exchanger economizer and air preheater so in a heat exchanger there is an exchange of heat between the flue gases and uh, water so in a economizer uh, there is a flow of water one side and another side we transfer the flue gases so whatever the energy which is available in the exhaust gases it is utilized to increase the temperature of water in the economizer so economizer it is a heat exchanger it is the accessories it is not the compulsory okay we have already discussed there are two types of part in the boiler mounting and accessories mounting means those part in the boiler okay it is required without this part we cannot operate the boiler and accessories means those part in the boiler without this part we can operate the boiler okay but whenever we use the accessories then we can improve the performance of the thermal power plant so economizer and air preheater both are the accessories so in economizer okay one side there is a flow of water in the tubes and outside of the tubes the flue gases it will pass through the bundle of tubes so this bundle of tubes it will exchange the heat between the water and flue gases and due to this heat transfer the temperature of the water it will be increases and this hot water it is supplied to the boiler so this part so this component it will improve the performance of the boiler because the function of the economizer is to increase the temperature of water and this hot water is supplied to the boiler so we require the less amount of heat energy to generate the steam air preheater it is also a one type of heat exchanger as it name suggest air preheat so it will preheat the air so it is also a one type of heat exchanger so whatever the heat energy it is available in the flue gases it is utilized to transfer the heat in this air preheater so in this air preheater there is a exchange of heat between the flue gases and air and the temperature of the air it will be increases and this what air it is supplied to the boiler okay so again uh, whenever we supply the hot air to the boiler so again the efficiency of the boiler combustion efficiency it will be increases so this is also accessories so in a boiler there is a separation of water and steam due to density difference as we know that the density of water is 1000 and the density of steam it is less than 1 so the steam is always remain top side in the boiler and the water it is remain bottom side of the boiler due to density difference then after this uh, wet or dry steam it is supplied to the superheater because we know that whenever the moisture content will be there at that time it will erode and corrode the turbine blades so it will pass through the superheater in a superheater it will produce the superheated steam this superheated steam it will expand into the uh, turbine and turbine will produce the power okay and the outlet of the turbine okay it will enter into the condenser okay we have already discussed in my previous lecture what is the function of condenser and what is the need of condenser in thermal power plant if you want to clear your fundamental what is the need of condenser in thermal power plant then you can watch this video so condenser means it is also a one type of heat exchanger okay it will exchange the heat because the outlet of the turbine it is a wet steam we cannot directly supply this wet steam to the boiler again because it will occupy more space so in a condenser there is an exchange of heat and the wet steam it is converted into condensate means in a condenser there is a latent heat is transfer means there is a change of phase latent heat means there is a change of phase at that time temperature remain constant okay then this condensate it is supplied again to the boiler as a feed water so in a thermal power plant all components work in higher temperature so it might be there is a losses of steam and water 
okay so we can supply the surplus water in the boiler okay so uh, this is the overall working of the thermal power plant so i hope this information it will be helpful to you if you would like to watch this type of more technical videos then please subscribe our channel and also share with your friends